Well, good morning, you fine folks, you fine person sitting right there. Thanks for clicking my video. Hang out for a while. I'm gonna do some trucking. We gotta bring people their stuff. And winter has decided to show its face a little bit today. We got us some 4WD weather this morning. It's actually not that bad. I don't need the four wheel drive right here. They cleared this road, but it's strange because they didn't clear it all the way to the curb. There's still four feet to the curb there on the left. I just left it. It's 7 a.m. right now. Usually they have it cleared before everyone goes to work, but they're a little bit behind this morning. We'll forgive them. All right, this time, we'll forgive them. But usually they got this little uh, pile that they got here to my left gone already. Because you'll see at the turning line here, people have to, <laughs> in their little cars, they have to like mount this little mountain and get over it. It's probably already all pushed down here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, not a big deal. Not a big deal. That's why we got a truck, right? So we don't got to worry about stuff like this. This isn't even that bad. We used to get so much more snow in Manitoba. Britt and I were talking about this just last night. We used to get a lot more snow in Manitoba, we feel like. Like, I, I remember going in our backyard and digging tunnels and building forts in the snow every winter. There was so much snow. And now... There's hardly anything. The grass pokes through everywhere. So I guess it's, you know, just cycles. So we're probably going to have a few winters with not as much snow, and then I bet, yeah, there's going to be a decade after this where we get, like, 10 feet of snow every winter. This earth is a strange place. Mother Earth waits until you, fi you, you think you got her figured out. You think you got her figured out, and she's like, ha! Just kidding. You don't know nothing. Wow, what's 
let's uh, get past this guy. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little bit more road here because my truck wants to keep sliding to the right. Come on, girl. Come on. Okay, I think we're through it. Why wasn't that grader actually grading? Like, what, what, I mean, why, why would you drive down a road like this and see all the chaos and not put your blade down? Am I missing something? Is that odd to anybody else? And another one bites the dust. Oh, that's not something you see every day. The Master Reverser. Look at this guy. <laughs> Must have broke down or something. same place I am I guess. I think this guy hit the ditch judging by all the snow on his bumper there and on that side of the bus. Because the bus is still running. So it doesn't, it wouldn't need a tow other than that. Oh yeah his rim is all full of snow. This tow truck's gonna, what, what are you doing bud? Okay, all right, that's cool. Didn't know exactly what you were doing. <laughs> yeah, he just pulled him out of the ditch. That's all he did. Okay, so I wonder if there's kids on there when it hit the ditch. the emergency vehicles, all right? It's actually a law in Manitoba here. 
that on the highways you have to slow down to a minimum of 60 kilometers an hour when passing not just emergency vehicles but also tow trucks and in the city you have to be going a minimum or a maximum sorry did i say minimum before you have to slow down to a uh, maximum speed of 40 kilometers an hour within the city limits when passing either emergency vehicles or tow trucks. A lot of people think that tow trucks don't count. They definitely do. Believe me, they'll give you a ticket. They've really redone this Petro Pass nicely on Oak Point Highway, North Winnipeg. Petro Pass has been investing a lot of money into their locations. Gotta hand it to them. Really stepped up their game. They used to be a little bit, eh, yeah, I don't know if I want to go and use the bathrooms, right? But they have really stepped it up. Thank you. It's kind of good to park in a parking spot like that again, even if it is with my itty bitty truck. A lot of bobtails here. I wonder if they leave them here overnight. Because I would never park here for long. I'm just waiting about 20 minutes, if that even, just for my next uh, pickup. Uh, probably won't even be that long. It'll probably be more like five minutes. So. I won't be taking up this 75 foot spot for long and if this was nighttime I'd go park somewhere else so that a driver who needs to sleep can park. There's also more parking spots over there. I just, I remember how much that bothered me when I was at the end of my day driving like a long, long 10 hour day and I get to the truck stop and half the spots are taken up by bobtails or like local trucks without sleepers like this one and they just leave them there all night so that I don't have a parking spot to sleep. Drove me nuts. So. I always try to push forward courtesy. We gotta be courteous to the drivers. These spots are supposed to be for drivers who need it for the night. You're not supposed to leave your truck here overnight if you're not gonna be staying in it. But, you know, a lot of people see the world differently and they see these parking lots differently than I do. So that's just the way I see it. I'll be here for 20 minutes max, probably grab a coffee and then uh, we'll be on the way. I don't think it'll be 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get a hold of me at about five. They were just trying to figure out uh, whether or not to send me to the east side of Winnipeg or send me back out to rural Manitoba. Just, they should be yelling at me here any second on the radio. I've got the goods. All is well. Woo! Woo! It's a little bit chilly out there. Yikes. What is the temperature out there right now? Temperature is, drum roll. Da, 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 minus 16. And it's going down to minus 20. Oh man, all next week. Oh, the polar vortex is coming. Do you mean we actually have to deal with seasonal, like regular seasonal temperatures in Manitoba? What is this? It's crazy talk. Let's get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, even my tires don't like the cold. They just keep spinning. All right, let's go back. everybody you remember your bets this is the co-op with the pumps that are busted that was what a week ago how many of you think they're fixed after a week apparently they'd already been broken well you're turning here too oh I was first me first thank you apparently they've been down for five weeks so it's over a month already five six weeks no, looks like they're still broken. What is it? It is uh, February 4th today. 
most of you are saying they're going to be uh, down until spring. So if they're not fixed by summer, I guess we'll know. Oh, and there's somebody right in my way too. Now they still got the red covers on them. They're still broken. I'm pretty sure you guys who said they're going to get fixed in spring will be right. They'll probably wait till the cold season's over and they'll just make us suffer through winter. I guess we'll check again next time. I don't come to this fuel stop every time, so we'll check every couple of days, see when they get it fixed. We're waiting for that minivan that's putting purple gas into its tank. In a minivan. Farm purposes, obviously. Obviously. Totally understand. Farm purposes. Gotta bring the kids to, to hockey. Need some purple gas in there. For those of you not from here, purple gas is uh, cheaper gas, but it's for farm use only. Off-road farm use only. If you get caught putting purple gas in a minivan like that, that is a big fine. They'll get their taxes back from you one way or another. Really get your tail light fixed there, bud. What is it with minivans today? What is it with minivans every day? Do you guys notice this? We've talked about it before. Have you begun to notice it? It's the minivan phenomenon. They're always in a hurry, always aggressive, always in a bad mood. Because <laughs> they're stressed out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, speed limit. Okay. Slow her down. So that was a good day today. Uh, buzzed around mostly the northwest side of the city there. Oh, like usual. You know, it's my usual day. I go into the city, I fill the trailer up. I come back here, I empty it. Got my morning tomorrow all cut out for me so I know what to expect. For now, I'm just headed home. I'm hungry.